Hi, I'm Wendy Ladd, and mm -hmm. welcome to the fabulous Fit and Fantastic show. We're here live today in sunny California, Los Angeles, and I'm here with one of my absolute favorite speakers and the woman who has inspired me probably the most mm -hmm. out of all inspirational speakers, Lisa Nichols. So welcome, Lisa, you to so the much. fabulous Fit and Fantastic show. Thank you so much, Wendy. Well, when we met and connected <laughs> some time ago, it was one of those instant connections, mm -hmm. those sister friend. Yeah. I call them the sister friend connections. Just share with everyone the word, and I, I just have to cover it because it's so important for me. <clears throat> How and what and why um, it did the word fabulosity come about? It's that thing, it's that mm -hmm. energy that you feel. Yeah. When you've agreed to stand in your greatness, when you've agreed to say, you know what, I'm not gonna hide from who I've been designed to be. I'm just gonna celebrate what is in me. I'm not gonna hide from my greatness. I'm gonna let my fabulosity live out loud. Uh, in this book, <clears throat> no matter what. Mm, my baby. It's got some great stories in here. Some yeah. very, very heart found and heartfelt stories. It has the stories that I said I'd take to yeah. my grave, Wendy. I, I, I gotta They're tell there. you, when the book was published, I still wasn't comfortable with those stories getting out. I literally, in Canada, was the first place to buy like a whole, the publishing rights outside of the U.S. Really? And I was like, yeah, they were the oh, first awesome. place. I, I have a relationship. <laughs> the book, it just simply said, it takes you from my breakdown to my breakthrough. breakthrough. But before I could get you to my breakthrough, I had to share my breakdown with you. And some of those breakdowns are ugly, messy. There's no way I can pretty them up or sexy them up. They were just messy. But to me, if you really want to know how to step into your next season, more yeah. powerful, more determined. You gotta know how to step out of your current one. In the main substance of it, you talk about um, your muscles. Yeah. And you've got your bounce back muscles. Most self-help books that I was reading didn't want to talk about the mess. Yeah. They didn't, let's l act like it doesn't exist. Well, guess what? It, it does. exists. It, it does. And so you ask about the bounce back muscles, and I say, listen, I want you to bounce forward. I want you to leap forward. I want you to soar forward. But I need you to bounce back from this first, because yeah. that's the prerequisite. And so the bounce back muscles are muscles in your character, Wendy. Your life has transitioned a lot. Yes. A lot. What would you say that you're most proud of? I'm mm -hmm. most proud that when my son was six, Mm -mm. I made the decision that I wanted to serve humanity, but I wanted to have an amazing relationship with my child and that one couldn't pay for the other, that I don't want to live in an either or world. I want to live in a both world. And so my son at 16, 6'2", 240 yes, pounds so <laughs> on stage, super Same shy man. kid, just affirmed me, yeah. you know, four months ago and said, Mom, you did it. I am so grateful. You have no idea that you came here, but if you had some words of wisdom that you just want to leave everybody with, what would they be? That we spend so much time seeking something as if it's all outside of us. But when you finally find that the divinity sits right in you, mm -hmm. that the godliness that you come with is enough, you have plenty of lessons to learn, but that you are enough, and that you get a thousand second chances and when you get to 99, 9.99, you get to press reset and you get a thousand more second chances. That today truly can be and is the first day of the rest of your life. 